Hi, I'm with the City of San Diego Open Space Division on Del Mar Mesa Preserve, an area with very unique habitat, the Vernal Pool. 95% of vernal pools in the county of San Diego have been destroyed, making the preservation of the few remaining areas a high priority. The creation of preserves like Del Mar Mesa serve that purpose. In San Diego, we have vernal pools in two soil areas. We have hardpan vernal pools and claypan vernal pools. In, in both cases, the vernal pools need a type of soil beneath them that does not allow water to percolate down. So it creates this sort of perched water table where the vernal pools hold water um, in amongst the Mima Mounds. To me, vernal pools are one of the most fascinating ecosystems we have in San Diego because of the extreme adaptations that's required of all the plants and animals. They can't survive in an upland habitat because there's not enough water, and they can't survive in a wetland habitat because there's too much water. So we have the fairy shrimp that need just a few weeks of water is all they need to go through their complete life cycle and then to lay eggs that will last in this dry ground for the entire rest of the season and potentially multiple years if the appropriate rainfall is not available. We have the spadefoot toads that have a similar life cycle and that bury themselves deep down in the cracks of the soil throughout the, the rest of the year. As land managers, it's our responsibility to balance the protection of that habitat with public access, which actually fosters stewardship for the area. Some of the management tools we use is providing core biological areas where we have no public access with an enjoyable trail plan so people can come to the area and see these threatened species and really discover them. Trail management is one of our most challenging management tools because how do you allow people access to the pools without damaging them? One strategy we have devised that we've already had success with is putting rock around the pools, which indicates to the users there's something special here. So people don't go into the pools walking through them or riding their bikes through them. And this has allowed already in just one rainy season for plants to grow in a pool that there haven't been plants in for decades. We're out here on Del Mar Mesa looking at the vernal pools. It's mid-May and the water has dried out. The plants are now coming out. Generally, the plants will grow along the edges of the vernal pool, creating a ring. And as the water um, evaporates, the plants grow down all the way to the bottom of the basin. We have here the endangered coyote thistle or Eryngium aristulatum. It's this uh, kind of sage green plant that's growing throughout the basins. We also have this very delicate vernal pool grass called annual hair grass or Dyschampsia danthanoides. We have this very, very small um, white plant called Silocarpus brevissimus, or woolly marbles, which is not a rare plant, but it's an excellent indicator of vernal pools throughout all of San Diego. Vernal pools and the creatures that call them home are unfortunately disappearing. It is our privilege to protect them through good management and responsible use. So we really want to invite you to come out to Del Mar Mesa Preserve and all the other preserves within the city of San Diego and really discover this unique habitat. But when you're here, we ask that you stay on the designated trails, avoid the vernal pools, avoid the surrounding habitat, follow the posted trail signs, what are designated trails, and then the areas that perhaps we have closed off for additional protection. We want you to enjoy this, these habitats, these trails for years to come and we really invite you to come join us.